Hey everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Rubber Stamp Tapestry and we're going to make more tags. I am loving, usually this time, it's what I'm going to do. Tags, ornaments, um, I just enjoy them. So, but first I'm going to use this peg stamp set. It is called Bring On The Winter. Um, I just love the... Um, images of the snowflakes and they have so many images of snowflakes so you know, all of these are very much interchangeable but I just want to focus in on this one um, but if you have another one please feel free to use that this does come with four pegs and because they're snowflakes we don't have to worry about the register line that's always on their peg stamp so that we know how it's going to stamp unless you really want one of those points to be up and not off to the side. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with stamping two panels. So I just have two panels here and we are just going to go to town. Um, just have all kinds of fun. I've pulled in <coughs> uh, many of my Gina K inks and teals and blues and I even have a gray going on here as well so we've got and they'll be listed down below tranquil teal I have got turquoise sea ocean mist sea glass blue denim powder blue and slate all right so Let's just start stamping. So I'm going to fill these panels up. I'm going to start with sea glass. And I'm just I'm just going to start stamping. Just having fun. And again, we're just going to try to fill in as much as we can when it comes to these panels. Um, I really want them to be overloaded um, and filled very much. Um, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> That's why I'm going to stamp multiple times with these peg stamps just to really fill in these areas and hopefully I'm in camera okay I am and now I'm gonna come in with the larger one and you want to make sure that you do you know go off the page um, in this case it really doesn't matter but you know it's something that you can get yourself used to <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just going to fill in with this last one. Now I'm going to come in with just one of the shades of the blue, the powder blue. Not going to be too concerned. Um, about the location, meaning compared to the other snowflakes. I just want to get these areas uh, filled. And that's okay. I'll be able to either cover that up um, or just not die cut through that. All right, now I think I want to come in. I think I actually want to come in with the gray. I do love that gray going into this. Now 
Now remember, with your Gina K inks, they do dry back. But I do like the way that this slate just kind of fills in just a little bit. All right, and now I think I'm going to come in with Tranquil Teal. Okay, just having fun just stamping away um, I do love the versatility that these peg stamps have um, you can make your own backgrounds you can make um, your own scenes um, they are not limiting in any way shape or form you can see I'm literally just stamping over things, just filling in these areas, and nothing's being taken away. Um, I'm not losing the definition um, or the picture of all of the other snowflakes going on here, which I think is great. And you can see we're just able to fill in, and I think this is going to just be that end and you can see I covered that up you know you no longer can see that there's a mistake in the um, stamping I think the only other color I may want to come back in with now I really like that again very different I think that gray just adds a lot to it um, just gives it a different look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut. Now I pulled out one of my old tags or a tag that I've had for a while um, from Simon Says. I don't know. Let's say, is there a date on here? 2018. And again, I love tags. And so of course there are snowflakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut this four times, two for each of these patterns. And we will be right back. Okay, now I have a mess here. All right, so let me get rid <clears throat> of the scraps. I'm going to punch out these areas here. So you can see you get this image of your snowflake in there. And then this one, you actually get a snowflake that is punched out. Um, and I'll use that for something else. I'll put them on something. Now, what I also pulled out, because um, I do like to, oh, sorry about that. Hang on. So sorry about that. I do have to keep my phone on um, when it comes to my other job. So I do apologize for that. Usually it's, it's pretty good. All right. So you can see I have two of these and two of these so it almost creates a background paper for you so i'm going to set these aside now i've also pulled out this one here um this is a, a die that i actually got from honey bee um that was like one of their freebies and when i see a tag i get really giddy and excited i don't know about anybody else it's, it's very it's odd let's just go with it it's odd um, but I do. I really do enjoy tags. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I think it is really cute. Um, it die cuts really well. And I am just making sure that all of the holes are punched out um, for them. So what I want to do is I just want to put this on top of that and then I want to layer this um, onto another one but I want to have you know something that of course that decorates that so 
you can see now what you can also do what's pretty awesome and what I do want to do is I really do want that snowflake to stand out so I'm going to grab not that that's like really really bright and so not what I was looking for and that's not it either so hang on I'm going, let's see, I want to try this. Yes, this will go wonderful. All right, so I'm just going to cut these strips. And they are going to be smaller um, than our tag is um, because I'm going to layer. So if I take this and I just put that there, you can see now that re she really stands out and that's what I'm looking for. So I need to get my glue. I'm just going to put a little bit here and there to make sure that it sticks down. And I'm going to do that for each of these and what is red on my table. Oh, that's a piece of cardstock. Never fear. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> oh my. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with these. Again, just a little bit of glue around it, but make sure we're getting into those points so that they will be set. Cut another square. Push that down. Again, just putting in these lines and we'll see if this is wide enough I'm keeping my fingers crossed and then now I just need one more Let's see if I can cut that a little too too wide And again, I'm not putting glue on every area because I'm okay if something should, you know, stick out, stick up. You know, again, it adds dimension to your cards. Makes it a little bit unique, I guess. All right, and I will gather up my other die cuts. We'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the second layer of this one. I am okay with this being the one layer. So we're gonna do something a little bit different with those. So for these, I'm going to layer this together. So we're just going to have that blue sandwiched in. And of course, you don't want to get the glue all over like I just did. But that's okay. It will dry clear. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> Again, we keep going. We don't stop. Coming in with a extremely damp baby wipe. And we're just going to wipe that away and it will dry nicely. There. So now we will be smarter and we will put our glue on the tag that has the cutout. And then make sure 
that this part is glued down as well. See, there's always ways to go around things, right? Right. And I'm going to put that on top. Set that one aside so it can dry. This one there too as well. And the final one. So see these are taking no time at all. The beauty of it. Now, you can leave these plain, you can put some dye around them, you know, whatever it is you're looking for. But again, we're going to have this. But what I want to do with these is I want to grab my to and from stamp, a very simple one, very basic. Again, this is just from one of the Hampton Arts, so I'm going to grab this too, and this from from down here. And I'm going to try to keep them within... you know, underneath this tag, but it's not going to be a requirement and that is perfect. And I'm going to grab my clear ink. So I want to emboss these. And I'm going to emboss them with silver. So that's one. Silver. And we will just coat these and we will heat set these. Now, as always, I don't need y'all to hear that awesome sound, so we will be right back. Okay. And that's what that looks like with the silver embossing. And now we just need to add our toppers. I'm trying to measure here. Because if you guys have seen my videos before, you know I love like a huge tassel coming off the top of my tags and hopefully you know what I need to do for this I'm going to make these holes a little bit bigger and hopefully that'll work let's see oh yes I'm going to do each one. Okay. 
Okay. Now let's try this again. So I'm using a silver ribbon and some of my natural twine. And I have these folded wrong. Gotta make sure that when you fold these over that they're very um, tight, held together. So now I have that one. And now let's see if I can get it through this one. I should be able to, but I just don't want to rip it. I am using a very thick cardstock for that back one, for that honeybee, um, for that reason. Because I'm not putting a second layer on that. And I'm just going to pull or tassels one at a time because that will tighten them in place. And our last one. And there you go, and that's what that's gonna look like. Now, what's great is when whoever you give this to, you're gonna be writing on this one. They will be able to pull this one off and if they wanted to and use that one as well. So I'm just gonna keep on going, adding our tassels to these. And again, I just fold it over and again, and I really pinch all that together and then I just help push it through with my nails um, and anything else I can find. This one I am just being careful of because it is right up to the edges there. Even though I did use a, a you know, a strong cardstock, it could still uh, tear itself and I want to be careful that I don't tear it all the way. those through again and I just have to pull that through as well and then we just pull each one individually to make sure that it's locked in and there you go so that is two of them these I will do later and off camera but these are our two tags so I do hope you enjoyed today's project with rubber stamp tapestry and working with the bring on the winter. Not that we really want to say that, um, but winter is absolutely coming. So again, I do hope you enjoyed this. All the products that I use, as always, will be listed down below in the video description. Um, continue to enjoy your day. Smile. Um, continue to stay safe and healthy, but remember what's most important to me, even if you just do it for a little bit, a little, little bit, a little bit, always. Be creative, guys. Till next time.